time for another Scrap Lift Crafter Noon. This is Tara. I am going to be hopping along with a few of my friends this week as we do every week. I'll have their links below so that you can hop along with them. It'll, there'll be a collaborative playlist. You just have to click that one below my video and it'll take you to all the other ladies in the hop this week. We are scrap lifting this beautiful layout by Yvette Weber. She did this for Bramble Fox as part of their design team. It has some of their beautiful acrylic pieces on it, the hearts and the word, as well as some beautiful, what look to be fussy cut, die cuts. They're really gorgeous. This layout is fabulous. And so we're gonna be um, lifting this one and I will have her video in the description below as well so that you can watch her original process video. So let's see what I come up with. So I recently subscribed to the Fox Box Plus. So I actually have the stencil that Yvette used in her video. I'm going to use Pink Fresh Studios ink pads as well. Not because that's what she used, but that's because those are what I have. I um, have Distress inks too, but I prefer the softer look of the Pink Fresh Studio for stuff like this. So I'm just gonna start doing what Yvette did in her video. I don't think it needs a whole lot of explanation. I'm going to use a, a light brown and a mint. I think I'm using warm buff and mint are the colors from the Pink Fresh Studios ink pads. So I actually forgot to grab the washi tape that I used to tack down stencils. I had to go off camera a little bit for a little bit and grab that so that I could tack the stencil down. It was moving way too much for my liking. So I am just blending the ink barely between the two colors, doing it relatively quickly. This is a real easy technique. I love that when she was finished with the stencil, she lifted it and moved it just slightly and then lightly traced in the stencil with pencil. That really makes the stenciling pop.
Now that my background is mostly complete, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Prima metallic watercolor paints and I'm going to use that to make the splatters. I have found that I really prefer their gold um, watercolor in, in place of a gold ink spray for splatters because it shows up really well. There's I think three shades of gold in this palette. I really love this palette. This is a, a great way to get some beautiful metallic splatters on your background. So I'm going to start building my final layout now that the background has dried. I am going to rough up the edges of my photos with my Tim Holtz Distress Tool. I have chosen two photos, one of the little tiny toad on the ground and the other of me holding it between my fingers. Yes, that's me holding a toad. I love them. I have always loved them since I was a little girl and so I always pick them up when I see them. For this layout, I have pulled mainly from my November 2022 CKCB kit, as well as a little bit from the mini kit I made also for this month. If you want to see a video about my mini kit and the layout that I completed below, you can check that out in my Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog playlist that is on my channel. These photos, um, I'm going to mat with this piece of... Um, it is actually a product packaging from 49 and Market. I had bought some of their embellishments and this um, packaging had cut aparts on it. And so I cut them all apart when I was putting away the ephemera in my ephemera bin. And I roughed up all of the edges and just kind of stuck them in there with it. And so yesterday when I was pulling stuff out for this layout, I pulled that out as well because it looked like it would go very well with what I had in mind for the layout. I am also using a piece of pattern paper from my mini kit. It was a six by eight pattern paper kit from the Freckled Fawn November 2021 kit. And I'm using the green and white leafy side to continue to mat my photos. I am also pulling a striped piece from my November 2022 CKCB kit to finish off the matting behind my photos. I do see that I'm going to be covering up a great bit of the middle of the layout and I had been kind of worried about that when I was um, creating it and I had almost brought out, I have a larger sunburst stencil and I almost brought that out and used it instead 
but I decided to go ahead and use the stencil that Yvette used in her video because I have it and I hadn't used it yet. And I really like the look of her background. I do scooch the um, matting for the photo over just enough so that you can see part of that stuff coming out, the sunburst coming out from behind my photos. So I have a little bit of, of a mix of my counterfeit kit challenge blog kits here. I pulled out some of last month's kit. I had used mostly Vicky Boot and Fernwood in my October kit and I had already put it all away but I pulled out some pieces yesterday so that I would have options for this layout. I also pulled out some of the Pink Fresh Studios ephemera in my current kit and then I pulled a couple of pieces from my Jen Hadfill ephemera box as well. The acrylic pieces, the circles that I'm going to be putting on this layout are both from Freckled Fawn. They're older acrylic pieces. I used to just get their embellishment kit and those are from one of those and I have no idea which one they don't do just embellishment kits like they did in the beginning any longer so i can't even go back to their website i don't think and tell you where they came from but they match the color of my layout really well and so i'm just going to add them in there the word or phrase nature lover came from my fox box plus and i'm going to go ahead and use that as my title because it works really well the film strip ephemera as well as the clock face and one of the tags that I tucked on the left side of the layout actually come from a mente, I think it's called a junk book and it's just a small six by eight book that I purchased from Scrapbook Generation that is full of things like that that you can fussy cut. It has three or four of each page but it worked really well. I was able to find a clock face like Yvette used on hers and just fussy cut it for my layout. Now you can see that I pre um, wrote out journaling on three labels. Those are also from Freckled Fawn. I pulled those out of my label stash. I have a binder full of labels that I keep on hand near my workspace and I just pulled those out. Now, I don't know if you saw I was really fussing with trying to get, in, get them off the packaging. Note, don't put labels or stickers on packaging and expect to get them back off. Use wax paper. Lesson learned, I ripped the bottom of them. Luckily, I didn't actually rip my journaling and I'm still able to use them and just re-glue them down, which I did off camera. I'm gonna work on some finishing touches and you'll have to excuse Jasper. He really thinks that this is his spot and his human is currently in his way because he wants to look out the window. And so I had to pick him up and move him to the side behind my silhouette so that he would not sit on my layout while I was working and recording. He's such a goober. So I'm finishing up the little details that I'm putting on my layout and I'm gonna do a cutaway so that you can see the full layout. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. Make sure you check out the playlist below and click on it so that you can see all the other girls' layouts that are doing this hop with me this week. Have a great Sunday afternoon. Bye.